Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I am here with the Kaleidoscope Arch Collection. It's four items, feta press, stamp, die, and stencil. Before I get started in this video, I just want to remind you the big Steals and Deals event going on at Spellbinders. It is the VIP clearance event. You get up to 80% off select items. There are still a lot of goodies to be had. I will link the video here and at the end for that sale. Okay, crafters, let's get into this video. Let's get started. So this is the Kaleidoscope Arch. What is the Kaleidoscope Arch? Right here. <laughs> Kaleidoscope dies are dies that you build on, meaning the most detailed part of the die. This top arch that looks like a crown. There is a top layer, a middle layer, and a bottom layer. Usually, this is your lightest color. The bottom layer is your darkest. And then this color is like a mid color or a contrasting color. Kaleidoscope builds on itself. It's like a layering die. And there are a series of Kaleidoscope die sets at Spellbinders. This collection now is not only just a kaleidoscope die set, it's a coordinating stamp, there is a better press to go along with the collection and a stencil. So let's talk about these goodies. The first item is the stitched kaleidoscope arch dies. Two and three quarters of an inch wide by two and seven eighths of an inch tall. With this die, this is the stitched element that you can either choose to use or not. I did both examples for this video. I did a version where I used the drop-in when I cut it out and I stitched it, and then also where this is solid. When it is solid, seeing that you have this open space that looks like a rainbow, <laughs> there is this awesome stamp set to fill in this open space. This is called the Kaleidoscope Arch Sentiment Stamp. You get happy birthday, Thanks so much. Now, if you're wondering why is it shaped like this, like a capsule, you would cut one of this and then you cut a second one and you put this on the bottom. You would have the top arch up here, happy, and then the curved birthday. This is actually quite neat because it encompasses reflection collection feel, stitching, and kaleidoscope. Of course, florals. Just can't get enough of the florals, can we? So here are some fun florals in here too. There is even a banner die here with the little fishtail on the end. And it says, from me to you, if you don't use a drop-in, there are sentiments here that can fill in that space. Make a wish. Enjoy your day for everything. And there are some floral elements too. You could also stamp the flower here and the flower down here. That one. You could stamp these around the card and also inside the card. So these two go very well together. Next, there is the Better Press Kaleidoscope Flowers. So love this. It's almost like the Better Press of the month where you get that intricate detail like the whole press plate is all this goodness. And did you see in the video yesterday? Yes, I have to say it. Those all to new Better Press, those are fabulous as well. I tell you, Better Press, win, win. <laughs> this is just fabulous. You can use this both. You can press it with the Better Press or glimmer it. This will fit an A2 card, okay? Five and a quarter tall, four inches wide. So it is gonna be a quarter inch short of an A2. So you have room to trim it down, which is exactly what I did. And lastly, is a kaleidoscope window stencil. This is just super cute. I think this styling is playing off of right here. It has a great art deco feel. I'm putting both examples out together at the same time. This one is a full A2 card. Four and a quarter, five and a half inch tall. This one is a hair over. I had finished the card and then I decided I wanted a background in a contrasting color. This dark brown. This is a two. This is now a hair. eighth of an inch over. Four and three eighths of an inch wide. Five and five eighths of an inch tall. Now you can see what I was talking about. This is card number one. Then I was playing and really exploring more with card number two, okay? <laughs> so card number one, dark brown card base, alabaster card stock. In the background here, that's the kaleidoscope window stencil. I use some distress ink, abandoned coral, that colorway, that's what you're seeing here. But a little bit of it, not a lot. I didn't want the whole background. You can see it peeking out. It's really pretty though. Like when I was covering it up, I was like, why didn't I go bigger? <laughs> This card features everything here, including the florals. Here are all the florals layered up. That's the big flower. 
These are the little ones that's in blue. This one, that's that little pink one right there. In the centers, I have black in these small ones. The big one, I have brown. And then I took a Spellbinders clear enamel dot and put them here in the center. These are the two stems and then the leaves. This stem works with this set, but you can switch it up if you wish. This one are for those bigger ones, this and this. Then here are the leaves. I clip leaves, I tuck single leaves, so I deconstructed that piece. And then this one also incorporates the full kaleidoscope effect. Portobello cardstock, latte, and then timber. So in person, maybe you can see it. It's getting dark now, so I don't know if you can see the layers. It's a very delicate color gradation. If I had done more contrasting colors, it would pop more, but I didn't want to do contrasting colors. I liked this portobello going into that deep timber colorway. Instead of using the stitching drop-in, took that out and just run this and run this, and you get this area in the center. What I did... If you layer one on top of the other, you're going to get that height differential. So I just cut it with my scissors and then have one strip here. This covers up where these two halves meet. That's the banner I used for everything. And it's thanks so much. So thanks and then so much. And then just put for everything. Or thanks so much, enjoy your day. And then happy birthday, make a wish. Isn't this fabulous? This die set at this sizing does not have a high price point. So I think this is a fabulous die set to explore this look. These two go very well together. And then I finished it off with some green gems. Silver mixed gems over here, green gems here. In here for this flower, I use Spellbinders Onyx Gems. This card features the Kaleidoscope Flowers Better Press Plate. I was so tempted to just press it as always in black ink. After finishing the first one, which really follows the whole set, I wanted to do something completely different the second time. So with this one, something said, just don't go with black. In that same Regal set, there is a color called Mulberry. Mulberry is this dark, beautiful purple color. I was like, why am I not using this more often? I think it's gorgeous. This is porcelain cotton card with the mulberry cardstock you see here that spellbinders plum cardstock and a lot of spellbinders darker cardstocks forest plum mahogany crimson a lot of them are back in stock until they sell out okay plum is fabulous so with the plum i use silver metallic dmc thread and stitch this is very easy stitching. This is a great way to just practice stitching because it's big enough, but not too big and very easy to control because you only have one center point. So you're just going like this in the practicing. And the beauty of stitching, if you make a mistake, you can just clip it, start over again. <laughs> this does not have the whole kaleidoscope layer, just these two pieces die cut together with the plum cardstock. And I popped it up in here, I use this set, Floral Reflection Sentiments, Happy Birthday. I love this stamp set. So fabulous. And it works very well with a lot of those tag dies too, like assorted tags and such. Now I'm going to explain to you why I didn't use these florals. I wanted to enjoy more of the Better Press background. <laughs> See how you can see more of it here? Here you can see it, but it's like covering. Wanted to have the Better Press Beauty all the way out. It's only covered here, but I wanted to have something on it because I'm only using one half. That comes into Floral Reflection Dyes. Perfect for this. And this has been going on super sale a lot lately. This is a great option to use with this set. They go very well together. Love 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 happy happy and then i found some nice cardstock that can go with this plum purple but still not get lost so i think this works i still get the feel of the florals there was a second when i thought oh let me color it and then i said no it's okay <laughs> you can ink blend the background too. to straighten it out because i had the a2 cotton card and i cut it down i came into one of my favorites precision layering a2a and precision layering a2b so this is card number two finished off with some silver mixed gems okay crafters that is it for the kaleidoscope arch collection i love this you can stay within the collection and do a lot and then you can go outside the collection with a different stamp set and a different set of flowers and still make something it's just a stamp stencil die 
and a better press plate. But wow, 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 wow. Okay, crafters, everything will be detailed and linked below. Until the next video, don't forget to check out that VIP clearance sale. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.